CSU fraternity and sorority recruitment begins months before the actual four-day long rush. Two Panalonic recruitment coaches, Christine Ford and Lily Betcher, explain the process. I had a really amazing recruitment coach. I was really torn between two chapters and she like really talked me through um, and asked me the kind of questions that I should be asking myself when I was going through the recruitment process and so without her like I would have, I really would not have known what to do and so I just wanted the chance to be that kind of help for a potential new member. Okay. So as we approach recruitment, uh, it's getting a little more intense and for the weekend of recruitment itself, we uh, move into a hotel with all the other recruitment coaches and the people on Panhellenic and that helps us um, just really separate ourselves from our chapter for that period of time so that they can recruit the best girls for their chapter and we can help the girls find their home. Um, we also deactivate our Facebooks, we put all of our other social media on private so that um, our, the girls in our groups of uh, potential new members uh, wouldn't be able to find us on social media and figure out what chapter we're in. Um, so then, you know, we're going back to classes and a big thing is we're not allowed to um, pretty much like get excited to see members of our own chapter. We have to be acquaintances of everyone in the Panhellenic community and that's kind of hard for me because um, I mean I love my friends and I'm really excited to see them and I don't get to express like my affection for them publicly. I'm very grateful to have this experience because it's opening my mind to um, see like what's special about every chapter because everybody can find their home in a different place and that's why there's not just one chapter. We all bring similar things to the table. We bring a home, we bring friendship, and like another family, but it's different for everyone and I want to help girls find that place.